about the metabolism of uh, nucleotides in which we have discussed about the purine metabolism the de novo synthesis and the salvage synthesis of purines uh, today we will discuss about the metabolism of pyrimidines similarly to the purines the pyrimidine they are also synthesized by these two pathway the de novo pathway and the salvage pathway Uh, uh, in the de novo pathway uh, the ring structure of the pyrimidine it is synthesized first and then it is attached over the activated uh, ribose that is the prpp phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate uh, in this the first step is the synthesis of carbamyl phosphate which is catalyzed by uh, carbamyl phosphate synthetase 2 and we have discussed about what is the difference between carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 and 2 and the, after the synthesis of carbamyl phosphate it is converted into aspartate carbamyl aspartate uh, by the atk enzyme and then this carbamyl phos uh, as carbamyl aspartate it is converted into dihydroorotate and this dihydroorotate it is converted into orotate by the enzyme dihydroorotate dehydrogenase with the uh, help of coenzyme q as this coenzyme q is involving in this reaction so the location of this enzyme should be in the mitochondrial membrane so this enzyme is present in the mitochondrial membrane and this orotate is then converted into oritidine monophosphate that is the omp by the enzyme phosphoribosyl transferase orotate phosphoribosyl transferase uh, in this reaction the orotate is transferred over the uh, activated ribose and then omp is synthesized and by omp decarboxylase this omp is converted into ump that is the uh, nucleotide which is used for the synthesis of dna or the rna and then this ump can be converted into udp or utp and into the ctp so if we talk about the different enzymes uh, for the de novo pyrimidine synthesis the first three it is composed of trifunctional enzyme the dihydroorotate dehydrogenase it is present in the mitochondrial membrane and these two reaction uh, reaction number 5 and 6 the phosphoribosyl transferase and the decarboxylase Uh, it is present in the bifunctional ump synthetase enzyme this enzyme is called as the ump synthetase because it is synthesizing the ump molecule so uh, at the n terminal it is the activity of phosphoribosyl transferase and the at c terminal or c activity is the omp decarboxylase of this bifunctional ump synthetase enzyme so two multifunctional enzyme are involving in the pyrimidine de novo synthesis one is trifunctional other is the bifunctional yes, so uh, by this uh, de novo synthesis ump synthesis ump is synthesized and uh, the enzyme that is the omp decarboxylase it is one of the most efficient enzyme that is known for its, its speed and the speed reaction is in the factor of 10 to the power 17 over the uncatalyzed reaction uh, that is the catalytic power of this enzyme and also it does not use any cofactor or coenzymes uh, the pyrimidine de novo synthesis is uh, uh, controlled by feedback inhibition also uh, this ump is uh, can inhibit the carbamyl phosphate synthetase and the ctp is it, uh, it is the allosteric inhibitor to aspartate tra transcarbamylase uh, and the atp and the aspartate these two are the uh, allosteric activator for this aspartate transcarbamylase so this uh, atk is enzyme that i have told this uh, reaction is uh, allosterically modulated by aspartate and pure uh, atp these two enzyme allosterically activate and ctp it inhibit the atk enzyme and that is important the allosteric uh, regulation of atk enzyme because by the uh, the activity of aspartate transcarbamylase it is uh, one enzyme among other 
that uh, regulates the balance between purine and pyrimidine synthesis. If CTP is more, then it inhibit its own synthesis, and uh, the uh, the concentration is maintained. If ATP is synthesized more, then it activate the ATK synthesis and leads to synthesis more of the CTP. So it is important enzyme to balance between purine and pyrimidine in the cell. So uh, this UMP is converted into CTP as there is no branch point in the pyrimidine synthesis. Whereas in the purine synthesis, there is a branch point at the stage of IMP. IMP can be converted into guanosine or can be converted into adenosine. Here in the pyrimidine, you first UMP is synthesized and then this UMP is converted into either CTP or into pyrimidine. So by uh, this UMP kinase enzyme, UMP is converted into UDP and this uh, universal diphosphate kinase enzyme, UDP is converted into UTP and by the enzyme CTP synthetase, uh, UTP is converted into CTP. As there is the difference between uh, uridine or urinosine uh, and the cytosine is the uh, a difference between this uh, position in the uridine it is present uh, it is the oxygen which is present at this place and in the ctp it is the nitrogen that is present at this place so by uh, uh, by the uh, attachment of the amino group which is provided by the glutamine it is uh, utp is converted into CTP by the enzyme CTP synthetase and UMP is also converted into thymidine by the by this reaction and the reaction is uh, catalyzed by thymidylate synthetase as thymidine is only present in the DNA molecule whereas the UMP is uh, synthesized with the ribose so in first reaction, this UDP uh, or the UMP, these are uridine, is converted into deoxyribose. In the UMP, there is uh, the sugar is ribose. So first, the sugar is reduced into uh, deoxyribose. So uh, this UDP is converted into DUDP. And then DUDP is converted into DUMP. And then by the thymidylate synthetase, enzyme this DUMP is converted into DTMP and then by the uh, by the kinase enzyme nucleotide kinase enzyme it is converted into DTTP and uh, incorporated into the DNA synthesis this thymidylate synthetase enzyme uh, uh, because uh, the activity is regulated with this uh, tetrahydrofolate the carbon moiety is uh, one carbon moiety is provided by this uh, tetrahydrofolate and this tetrahydrofolate it is converted into dihydrofolate for the normal synthesis of uh, thymidine this uh, carbon should be provided by the tetrahydrofolate uh, in the tetrahydrofolate uh, stage it is uh, essential to remain the uh, this uh, molecule in the tetrahydrofolate if it is converted into dihydrofolate then in this stage it cannot provide the single carbon moiety for the synthesis so this dihydrofolate should be converted into tetrahydrofolate so the enzyme that converts this dihydrofolate to tetrahydrofolate is the dihydrofolate reductase and this yeah, uh, this enzyme is important for the uh, thymidine synthesis. If uh, some drug or by some inhibitor, if we can block this dihydrofolate reductase, then this dihydrofolate cannot be converted into tetrahydrofolate and this tetrahydrofolate cannot be converted into methylene tetrahydrofolate, which is the single carbon donor molecule. So if there is no single carbon mo uh, uh, donor molecule, then this TTP synthesis is hampered. So uh, by the blocking of dihydrofolate reductase, we can block the DNA synthesis because uh, in the proliferating cells, 
the requirement of thymidine is high to synthesize the dna molecule if we cut uh, if we cut down the thymidine uh, thymidine production then the dna synthesis will be hampered and cell will die cell will not divide so there are various drugs available that uh, inhibit this dihydrofolate like the aminopterin or the methotrexate and as the structure of these uh, uh, drugs aminopterin or methotrexate or other drugs they have the structure similar to the folates or folic acid so these drugs are called also called as folates or folate antagonist so uh, this is uh, a way to treat the cancer cell you may also uh, heard about this uh, uh, methotrexate molecule that is used for the cancer treatment and second uh, the uh, second regulatory point is the thymidylate synth uh, synthase enzyme if we block this enzyme also we can cut the synthesis of thymidine so the example for uh, the drug that inhibit this enzyme is the fluorouracil as this fluorouracil is a competitive inhibitor for this thymidylate synthase as the structure of fluorouracil is similar to this dump so it will uh, uh, convert into uracil fluorouracil and this uh, tightly bind with the enzyme and block the activity of this enzyme and it is a, an example of the suicidal inhibitor as by the uh, as we are giving as a pro drug which is converted into active compound active drug and that uh, can conjugate that that can bind and inhibit the enzyme so this is the reaction how the uh, thymidine is synthesized and the different regulatory point where we can uh, block the synthesis of thymidine so if we uh, the if we talk about the regulation of dno pyrimidine synthesis the ctp synthetase enzyme is can be regulated by phosphorylation what is phosphorylation it means uh, by the phosphorylation we are uh, controlling the enzyme means this is a type of covalent modification and the ctp can be phosphorylated at two sides if the ctp synthetase enzyme is phosphorylated at two sides then it will be inhibited and uh, this ctp is activated by gtp and ctp itself inhibit the ctp synthetase enzyme by this activity of these two molecule gtp and ctp there is a balance between the production of ctp and utp if the purine are high then it will activate the synthesis of pyrimidine if pyrimidines is high and it will control its own synthesis and maintains the uh, the balance between purine and pyrimidine so if we talk about the pyrimidine uh, biosynthesis de novo biosynthesis summary the pyrimidine ring synthesis it occur first and then it is attached with the ribose activated ribose the atkase aspartate transcarbamylase is the major regulator and balance the purine and pyrimidine Uh, the atp uh, it atp activates the atkase enzyme and favors the pyrimidine synthesis whereas ctp inhibit the atkase enzyme and favors the purine synthesis and it is feedback uh, feedbackly inhibited with the ctp molecule the omp decarboxylase is one of the most efficient enzyme that is known and it is used to synthesize the ump molecule the ctp is synthesized from the utp and uh, by the action of ctp synthetase and ctp synthetase it it is activated by the gtp molecule and it is inhibited by ctp and the phosphorylation at two sites because there are two uh, phosphorylation sites and the ctp synthetase helps to balance the purine and pyrimidine so there are these two enzyme atkase and ctp synthetase these two enzymes are used to balance between the production of purine and the pyrimidines mm, okay before the uh, metabolism or before the catabolism there is a time for short quiz
now open your uh, quiz one. Open your quiz. I open to accept the response. And the time is for 30 seconds. Nobody is responding. So we have got three responses. So, and... Open me what to put a spare time of the day. Open the submit me or other. Go in, go in. Hello. Okay. Meet Nahi, Tik Nahi, Lagraha. Hmm. Okay, all three have give the. Uh, are you? Uh, can you uh, see the screen? Our screen share. Yes, uh, okay, so we have got three. Has have uh, closed the to accept the responses now, and the all of three that gives the answer. Uh, is uh, rightly so, yes sir why you guys yes. 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 so so we are happy i am happy to see that uh, this you have now open the second quiz i open to accept the responses The time limit is 30 seconds. Sir, submit in a yota. Sir, card is submit. See, the whole and the time is right. Now this time we have got more responses from the previous one. I block the uh, to accept the responses as time is over. And the question was, uh, the purine is built first and then attached to activated ribose. Is this uh, statement is true or false? The statement is false. Because uh, the purine ring is synthesized over the ribose, activated ribose, one by one. Yes, the different yes. component, they are attached one by one. So in this condition, uh, out of seven, we got the five responses correct and two response is wrong answer. So now I'm giving a third quiz. The time for this is also the 30 seconds. <coughs> requirements for CPS for CPS to don't talk, don't, talk, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. You just give your answer in your form. I will show the question here. All of these questions are uh, from yesterday class and today's class and most of uh, all the questions I think I have uh, discussed during this lecture also. Now this time more responses I close to accept the response as time is over and the question is 
the reaction requirement for the CPS1 carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 and 2 enzyme are similar. This statement is true or false? The answer is false. false. Because CPS1 CPS1 requires the bicarbonate and nitrogen as ammonia. Whereas CPS2 requires the bicarbonate and the glutamine. So the substrate requirement are different for these two. Uh, among the 14 responses, we have got 12 as correct and 2 as uh, wrong answer. Now I'm giving a fourth quiz. Time is also the same, 30 seconds. All this question, I think I have discussed today also. So you probably not feel any difficulty to solve this question. The problem may be the internet that is unavoidable. So time is over and the question for this quiz is the elastic regulator for aspartate transcarbamylase is or are and the options are ATP, aspartate and CTP and the answer is mm -hmm. all three, yeah. all three. Mm -hmm. So among 14 responses is uh, you also, uh, the one response is only for ATP and four responses are for only aspartate and the how many nine responses are CTP. Have you ticked all these three or only one you have ticked? Only one. Only yeah. one. Sir. If, That's you, CTP if, if you all tick only one then it is not all three all three because i have i because i have write the regulator not the inhibitor or not the activator all of you make yes all of the above is liye to teen of is liye to chalo khair koi nahi bonus 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 question theek hai so next is the catabolism of the nucleotides. Uh, there are different uh, mechanisms for different uh, nucleotides. The uh, purines and pyrimidines, uh, these are the different molecules. So the, uh, more or less the enzyme type are same. The reaction mechanism almost similar except few steps. So if we talk about the purine catabolism, the structure of the guanine and the adenosine, it is little bit different. So uh, first we will deal about the uh, guanine nucleotide catabolism uh, as this GMP is present either in the RNA or in the DNA. So we are taking an example of the RNA. It is similar for the DNA. Uh, instead of here the RNA's enzyme, it will be the DNA's. So if we are, uh, if we take the empirical name that is the nucleases it may be for dna or maybe for rna these nucleases they cleaves the dna and rna into individual nucleoside monophosphates like the gmp or the amp or C cmp or ump these nucleases cleaves the individual nucleosides and then uh, as we are dealing with the gmp the nucleus this gmp is converted into nucleoside so by the uh, Purine nucleotidase enzyme, uh, this nucleoside monophosphate it is converted into a nucleoside. The, the difference between nucleoside, uh, this GMP and the nucleoside is the removal of this phosphate. And then this guanosine, it is cleaved into guanine and the sugar moiety by the enzyme phosphorylase, nucleoside, nucleoside phosphorylase. Similarly, the AMP is uh, also degraded into uh, hypoxanthine, the nitrogenous base and the sugar molecule. 
but the reaction mechanism is different from the guanine. The, uh, by the nucleases, it is converted into nucleoside monophosphate as AMP. This AMP can be converted by the deaminase enzyme into inosinic acid, that is the IMP. And by nucleotidase, this IMP is converted into inosine. And then this inosine will be converted into hypoxanthine and the ribose. Uh, by other pathway, the AMP will be converted into nucleoside similar to the guanine. Uh, the AMP is converted into adenosine and then this adenosine by the deaminase enzyme, it will convert into uh, inosine. So ultimate product of by, uh, by these two pathway, by these two path, the ultimate product is the inosine, which is by phosphorylase enzyme converted into the nitrogenous base hypoxanthine and the sugar molecule. So the purine that will be converted into uh, the guanine will be converted into uh, sorry the GMP will be converted into guanine and AMP is converted into hypoxanthine. In next step, this hypoxanthine will be converted into xanthine by xanthine oxidase, and the by the action of guanine, the guanine is converted into xanthine. So the ultimate product of purine metabolism is xanthine, and the xanthine oxidase convert this xanthine into uric acid. So ultimately, as this is the single enzyme which is catalyzed the conversion of hypoxanthine to xanthine, uh, and the uh, this xanthine is converted into uric acid. So the final product of the purine metabolism, whether it is guanine or the AMP, the final product is uric acid, which is excreted. And the uh, inhibitor for this xanthine oxidase is the allopurinol. This allopurinol is the competitive inhibitor of xanthine oxidase that we have discussed in the enzyme section. As if we compare the structure of allopurinol, it is similar to the xanthine. That's why it is the competitive inhibitor for xanthine oxidase. And the allopurinol is used for the treatment of gout. As the, uh, if the concentration of the uric acid, it is increases in the blood then it will be deposited in the synovial fluid and causes a gouty arthritis. The uh, reason behind the gouty arthritis is the accumulation of the uric acid in the synovial fluid. So uh, if we, uh, if we uh, block the synthesis of uric acid, then the, if, uh, we can treat the gouty arthritis. So this is the drug allopurinol that is used to decrease the production of the uh, uh, this uh, uric acid and uh, because it is blocking the uh, catabolism of the amp and the gmp ultimately the purines so these purines they are shuffled for the salvage pathway so now what is the salvage pathway the uh, all the nucleotides they are uh, converted into adenine. This, uh, sorry, the adenine or the guanine or the hypoxanthine. These are the initial molecule. The, from where these uh, nucleotides are coming. These nucleotides may be come from the diet. As uh, we are taking the diet, then there are different nuclear, uh, nucleotides or nucleases. They are present that cleaves these nucleotides. And we have the nucleotide. Second, by the degradation of some uh, some of these uh, nucleic acids in the cell, these are degraded uh, and converted into nitrogenous base and the ribose. So uh, these nucleotides or the nucleic acids, they are they can be attached with the activated ribose, that is the phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate with the different enzyme system, they can be converted into nucleotides. And these monophosphate, nucleotide monophosphates, they will be, they will be converted into diphosphate and the triphosphate. So uh, for the adenine, it is the adenine phosphoribosyl transferase for the guanine and the hypoxanthine. The uh, enzyme is the hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase enzyme. If this enzyme act over the guanine, it is converted into GMP. 
whether if this uh, HGPRT enzyme act on the hypoxanthine, then this hypoxanthine will be converted into IMP. And this IMP can be used for the synthesis of either ATP or the GTP. So uh, this, this enzyme, HGPRT enzyme, is important for salvage pathway. If we are providing uh, hypoxanthine into the cell culture, if the cells that have this HGPRT enzyme, they can convert this hypoxanthine into the production of ATP or the GTP. Means for the, for, uh, for the duplication of the uh, DNA or the RNA, uh, this hypoxanthine can be used if a cell that is uh, deficient into HGPRT system and by uh, providing any drug, we are blocking the de novo synthesis also, then those cells will not grow if the cells are HGPRT negative. Okay? Yes,